Hi, Ovid Elsie. I'm Heidi Tracy. And I'm Cooper Beard. This is Zoe T Weekly for Friday, January 6th. If you have any photos or videos you would like featured in our senior video, please email them to natalie.delong at ovetlc.org. On Tuesday, Astronomy Club will be going to see the movie Hidden Figures right after school. All are welcome, but must sign up and have a permission slip turned in before the end of the day Monday. You can sign up in Mr. Martin's room. Attention juniors and seniors, there is a college visit planned for January 24th to Central Michigan University. If you are interested, please pick up a permission slip in student services. All permission slips are due by January 12th. Now let's go to Madison for our weather. Hello, this is your OETV weather update for January 6th. Today we have a high of 16 degrees with a low of only 9. It will be mostly cloudy for the majority of the day. For this weekend, it's looking pretty cold. Tomorrow there is a cold high of 22 and a low of 10 with partly cloudy skies. As for Sunday, temperatures are at a high of 20 and a low of 14 with mostly sunny skies. Moving into next week, temperatures will rise a little and dip back down by the end of the week. Monday, there's a high of 30 degrees with cloudy skies and a 40% chance of snow. As for Tuesday, cloudy skies with a high of 38 and a 60% chance of a rain-snow mix. Wednesday will be cloudy with a high of 35 and a 60% chance of a rain-snow mix. Thursday it's cloudy again for the most of the day. The high is at 35 and the chance of precipitation is at 20%. That's your weather, I'm Madison Zemla. The January FFA meeting will be next Wednesday, January 11th at 6 p.m. in Ms. Hoffman's room. You will be playing minutes to minute games. Please sign up in the Ag Room. The Grand Valley State University should pass in reschedule for February 7th. If you are interested in going, you'll need to resubmit and use permission slip with signatures from your second semester teachers. Slips can be picked up in student services and are due back January 31st. Congratulations to Mr. Dalkey's and Mr. Bowen's math lab classes. They scored a combined total of over 500,000 think points and earned a pizza party. Central Driving School will be offering Segment 1 driver's education class February 21st through March 9th. There will also be a Segment 2 class January 23rd through the 25th. Time forms are available in the high school office. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Carson Sutliff. Now here's Sarah with sports. Only six days into the new year and the Marauders are already off to a great start. The boys varsity basketball team led the way Tuesday night against the Cardinals. In what was expected to be a tough conference matchup, the Marauders fought their way to a 26 point victory. Vincent and Thompson commanded the floor, each with 16 points and 5 rebounds. The varsity boys team weren't the only ones to defend our Marauder territory. The boys JV team also beat Michigan Lutheran Seminary 41-23. Our girls basketball teams were also in action Tuesday night. The evening started out with an 18-point varsity conference win over Michigan Lutheran Seminary. Leading the way for the Marauders was Sampson with 13 points and 8 rebounds. Unfortunately, the girls JV team was unable to beat the Cardinals, falling 26-36. to On Wednesday night, our wrestling Marauders were back on the mats with a double header. The team brought two victories back home, beating Pinconning 45-28 and Michigan Lutheran Seminary 44-36. The big winners of the night were Hammond, Miller, Zimmerman, Schneider, and Stringham, who went 2-0. The varsity cheer team also had a good night on Wednesday, bringing home a win in their first conference competition. Taking a look at tonight's sports schedule, our varsity basketball teams are back at it against Ithaca High School. All of the action is here at home starting at 6 p.m. Our dance team will also be performing the halftime show at the boys game. Tomorrow, the cheer team is competing at the Frankenmuth Invite. Our JV wrestling team will be away at Lakewood. Their matches start at 8.30. The varsity wrestling team is also competing tomorrow at 9 a.m. in Imlay City. 
Last but not least, our boys and girls varsity bowling teams will be away at a TVC match. Their games also start at 9. On Sunday, our bowling team is back again at the Lila Jean Furnish. These games will start at 10 a.m. Back to you, Heidi and Cooper. Thanks, Sarah. That's our show for this week. Have a great weekend, OE.